old crocodile, but he doesn't seem to like water. stadium in Vancouver was packed for the climax of the games and the big crowd saw His Royal Highness arrive to witness the marathon and the mile. First, however, the inspection of the combined guards of honour. a friendly chat with some of the athletes before taking his place beside Lord Alexander. And now away goes the big field at the start of the marathon race. Jim Peters, the England team captain, was the favourite, but the distance of 26 miles takes about two and a half hours, so meanwhile there's the miracle mile to watch. start, Law of England dashed to the front and held the lead for about 150 yards. Then John Landy of Australia, who broke the world record in Finland last June, took over. Clearly his plan of action was to set such a pace that his great English rival, Roger Bannister, would have nothing left for that final devastating spurt. Andy kept it up with Bannister in second place, but some way behind. Just before the end of the third lap, which Landy clocked exactly to his schedule, Roger Bannister closed the gap and a terrific thrill spread among the spectators. This was going to be the mile of the century, a duel between the world's only under four minute men. Eighty yards to go and Bannister passes Landy, just look at him go. This was what he called his finishing kick. What a kick! With a time of 3 minutes 58.8, only four-fifths of a second outside Landy's record, Bannister wins by four yards. Obviously a supreme effort, and he'd used up the last ounce, but what a tremendous triumph. His first thought was to congratulate Landy, who also beat the four-minute mark, but victory was Bannister's. this dramatic race when staggering into the stadium 15 minutes ahead of the next man came Jim Peters at the end of the marathon. He was in the last stage of exhaustion having run himself out at a fantastic pace over the 26 miles in a temperature of more than 80 degrees. It was indeed a heartbreaking spectacle as only conscious of the imperative necessity to keep on keeping on for the few remaining yards he struggled to reach the finishing line. Jim Peters finally collapsed some 200 yards short of the finish a tragic end to a heroic effort.